What's up, spectators? Welcome back to the episode of Last Window. Last time we were speaking with uh, Charlie, I think his name's Charlie or Charles, and we found out that Will White was the one investigating the fourth floor based off of some film we developed, which we compared to something else. And now we're sneaking around in his room and we discovered a code to get into his safety deposit box, his lockbox here. Uh, and we t took a look and we saw a passport and a pile of cash. There's a passport inside the safety deposit box. What have I got here? It looks like Will's passport. The passport is in the name of Will McGrath. Hang on. McGrath? So Will's surname is the same as the manager of the hotels. I take Will's passport. Huh? Passports didn't look like that in then whatever this year is. That's like the most modern passport with a chip in it and everything. Silly. I hear the sound of somebody knocking on the door. Not again. Guess I better keep the noise down. Alright, we'll just hang tight for a bit. I hear the sound of somebody knocking on the door. Okay, all clear to keep looking. Okay. Come on. There's a black case. Seems there's something inside the camera. Whoa! Looks like this is where you put the film in. Can't open the flap. What the? Am I supposed to put in a date here? Uh huh. Well. There is something with the date. If we just back out here. When we take a look at the passport. November 28th, 1942. So it could be 281142. Yes, yes, come on. Ah, 28... November, other way, 1942. Okay. That did it. What's this? It's pretty tattered, but it looks like it was a postcard. Also, I can make out a signature on the edge. Michael McGrath. Wasn't he? I take the torn postcard. Why on earth would anyone want to stuff half a postcard from the hotel manager? Into this toy camera. I suddenly get a hint of a presence other than my own. But it's already too late. I feel the muzzle of a gun pressed up against my back. Really? You didn't notice any of this? There's nothing I can do other than stay si still in amazement. I hear a cold voice from behind me say, What are you doing here? Just having a look at your room. Do you mind? I needed to find out exactly who you were. What were you looking for in here? Speak up. If you want me to talk, how about putting the piece down? I'm a reasonable man, sure. Why not? The pressure on my back disappears. How'd you get in here? 
The door was open, so I just came in. You're gonna have to do better than that. Unless, of course, you want me to put a bullet in you. It's the truth. This place was already open. Dylon left it that way after he came out. What the hell? He said you'd asked him to take care of something in here before moving out. He used a spare key to get in. But being the numbskull he is, he left without locking up. Funny, I don't remember asking him to take care of anything. Maybe not, but it doesn't change the fact that he was in here. If you don't believe me, take a trip down the hall and ask Charles. He saw too. He'll tell you exactly what I just did. Let's assume I believe you. For now, anyway. Maybe Dylon was... Was what? No, that can wait. The more pressing issue is what to do about you. I think I'll have you answer a few more questions. Let's start with what you did while you were sneaking around in here. You've twisted my arm. You sure you want me to say it all out loud, though? I mean, I think I've just got about pieced it all together. Your secrets and such. Ah, 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 Don't kid yourself. There's no way you know what I've been doing. Nice try. I'm on to you. You are, are you? Well then, let's just see how much you think you know. For starters, I know what your real job is. You've been earning a pretty penny too, by all accounts. And what is it you think I've been doing to earn all this money? I know plenty more than that. I know all about the lies and deceit too. Oh? And just what do you think I've been lying about? Simple. You faked your identity. I got your number. You got nothing, that's what. You don't have the first clue who I am. Your real name is... Will Light! Will McGrath, ridiculous. You already know my name. Come on, do you take me for an idiot? Your name's Will McGrath. Can you actually hear yourself? Have you got any proof to back up your, your outrageous claims? Yes. Okay, so I'm actually supposed to show it, okay. Take a look at this. That's my... Right, it's your passport. That Why did he just give it to him? Now he can shoot Kyle and there's no, you know... Where did you find this? I'll tell you. I looked in the safety deposit box. You did what? You opened the safety deposit box? Yeah, what's the matter? Surprised I got into it? There's no way you could have got that thing open. The only person who could possibly open it for me... Open it is me or the intended recipient. Hmm. Where do the banknotes come from? Don't try to weasel out of it. Tell me. I'm talking about the banknotes in the box. Okay. What are you trying to trade? What are you trading in exchange for the banknotes? It must be something fairly significant for the price you've been paid. Save your breath. I've had enough of your damn prying. It's not going to be your day then. My prying's just getting started. You've been pretending to live here in this apartment. But your real job means you have to creep around secretly at night. Am I wrong? Lil McGrath. That's your real name after all. It is. Well done. That's me, Will. You'd be wise not to cross me any further. You started this conversation, remember? Maybe it's going to take a bullet to shut you up after all. Yeah, I'll take a rain check on that. Besides, I doubt you've got the balls to shoot me right here in this place. That's what you think, is it? Think about it. If you shoot me here, how long is it going to take for the other residents to come running? And I'm sure you aren't looking for any more publicity. Brave words for someone in your position. So anyway, now I've blown your cover, Mr. McGrath. What to do about it? Luckily for you, I'm not gonna rat you out to the police. 
If you must know, I only snuck in here to find out something I've been investigating. In the hope of unveiling the truth. And I think you could shed some light on it. I see. Well, Mr. Hyde, would you care to share it with me? What exactly are you looking for? What do you mean by truth? That's easy. I want to know about 25 years ago. Once I found out you were Will McGrath, I realized that you were connected to the murder that happened 13 years ago. And how do you figure that? Mm. Because you're the victim's son. I'm afraid not. The victim of the murder 13... <laughs> the victim of the murder 13 years ago, Kathy McGrath, was the manager's wife. McGrath's a common enough name, just because we share it doesn't mean I'm related. You seem to enjoy jumping to conclusions. There's no jumping here. It's all based on evidence. If that's the case, please show me. Um... What am I supposed to... Oh. Take a look at this. I opened up the toy camera inside your case. The postcard I found inside bore the name Michael. The same name as the husband of the victim, Kathy, 13 years ago. He was the manager of the hotel at the time. Why have you been hiding it? Now that you've shown me this, I suppose there's no sense in denying it. You're right. I'm her son. Kathy, the victim of the murder, was my mother. It all makes sense now. Damn. I'd never have guessed you were related to the victim. No use in keeping quiet now. You may, may, you may as well talk. What do you want me to say? Tell me everything. I want to hear exactly what you hope to gain from all this. I have absolutely no idea what you're saying. I live here under a false name, I'll grant you that. I'm a guy who does a job I'd rather the other tenants didn't know about. The same guy whose mother was murdered in the past. How's that for the truth? So, now you know everything. What do you have to say? Wow, that was almost half convincing. You think I was born yesterday? There's no way in hell you've told me everything. Oh? Last chance. Spill it. What have you been doing in this building? What were you trying to gain by using me? Time for you to cut the bull and tell me the truth. Why are you living here in this building? What are you up to? Nothing, I'm just the tenant. I'm living here just like you are. Hmm. You're looking for the culprit. The case surrounding your mother's murder was never solved. So you're here trying to find out who the culprit is. Maybe I am. What of it? Some of what you're saying is close to the truth, but you're not quite on the money. Mr. McGrath, do not get cryptic with me. I'm not searching for my mother's murderer. I decided to live here after I found out who did it. Mr. Hyde. You and I have shared very similar experiences. Both of us have had a parent murdered. Your father was killed 25 years ago and my mother 13 years ago. Both cases remain unsolved. What are you getting at? However, though our paths are distinctly similar, we have adopted different approaches. You were once a detective, yet you chose not to look into your father's case. You're even living in a place that may still be able to shed light on things, but do nothing. You're not even trying to find out the truth. And that's the reason I'm so angered by you. And the reason I chose to point you in the right direction. Are you for real? So the order sheet was your doing. That would be telling. Come on, you told me this much. No sense in stopping here. Which direction were you trying to point me in? That's simple. And what did you mean with what you just said? You said we had distinctly different approaches to our respective pasts. Tell me what you meant by that. It's all about something that I possess, but you don't. A burning desire to get even with the person who's responsible. I'll not rest until the person responsible for my mother's death has been made to pay. And since the justice system has failed in its attempt, I must get revenge. Hmm...
So, who killed Kathy? The main person responsible is already dead. But their accomplice is still around. Are you referring to... Mrs. Patrice? Right first time. I moved in here in order to be in a position to take my revenge on her. I originally intended to crush her throat with my bare hands. I don't want to hear that. But then something appeared and got in the way of my plan. What kind of revenge are you planning? Wouldn't you like to know? Pitiful. Just pitiful. Now, now, Mr. Hyde, that hurts. So, you were just gonna use me to get your revenge, and I'd be none the wiser. I mean, you knew what I did on the side, so you sent me the order sheet, right? I found all the evidence I need to pit it on you in this very room. And what evidence might that be? Hmm... Here's your evidence. It was you, wasn't it? You sent me the order sheet. Congratulations, Mr. Hyde. And what about other things I found? Like, um... Oh. That's it. I want her to own up to her crimes and show me how repentant she is. Then do it yourself! Don't involve me in your dirty work. At the sneeze! Achoo! Excuse me. You still don't get it, do you? It's much more fun to have somebody else do it. You're sick, man. Spare me your moral posture, and you took your order willingly. No doubt you've been having... the time of your life roaming around the building, reliving your glory days. And it didn't take you long to realize something, either. You realize that if you found the Scarlet Star that went missing 25 years ago, you'd be able to uncover the truth behind your own father's murder, too. And how the hell did you know about that? What interest could you possibly have in my dad's murder? I heard about it, the incident from 25 years ago. Somebody working in the hotel at the time told me. Who told you? Are you referring to... Michael, your father? He told you, didn't he? That's right. My father told me the truth before he passed away three years ago. He helped me understand exactly what happened on that day 25 years ago. What got in the way of your plan? I learned that my mother's murder was triggered by the incident 25 years ago. And I learned that that was due to the involvement of an organized crime syndicate. Yes, and not just any. One that you're very familiar with. None other than Nile. Nile were involved. They were indeed. How the hell do they come into what went on here? That's something I can't help you with, I'm afraid. All I know is that their involvement in that incident complicated matters. What happened 25 years ago? A safe was broken into on the premises of Hotel Cape West. The item stolen was known as the Scarlet Star. The person who stole it was your father. It's true. My father died three years ago, right after telling me everything he knew. It was the first time I was able to see the entire picture. So you didn't know before then? No. My father and I never really saw eye to eye. I left home as soon as I could. After that, the only time I met my father was at my mother's funeral. Later, he collapsed due to an illness, and the next time I saw him, he was dying. I hadn't seen him in ten years. He was in a weakened state and in need of my support. Before he'd drawn his final breath, he spoke to me. He told me he was sorry and that he had something he needed to say. He went on to inform me that a man called George Patrice had killed my mother. There was no evidence, but he knew for a fact it was him. Is he trying to tell me that Mags' husband killed Kathy? He then thrust that torn old postcard into my hands and told me something else. 
that everything started 25 years ago when the Scarlet Star disappeared. This is the last thing he said. That there was a man who stole the Scarlet Star from the hotel safe 25 years ago. He tried to tell me the name of the safe cracker. He struggled to speak the words, but never made it. His final breath had been exhaled. He died a wretched and lonely old man. It wasn't the way he wanted to go. What happened then? After spending the time to look after my dying father, I had a sudden change of heart. Although previously I hadn't really cared for him, these new emotions changed that. Almost without noticing, I was clasping his cold, lifeless hand and making a promise. I promised I'd get to grips with the truth he imparted to me. Get to grips with... Yes, I find out everything and bring it to light. Make sure that all the circumstances surrounding my mother's death are known. I used the partial hints that my father had left with me with and started to piece it together. I researched the building, the key players, and I learned that George Patrice was already dead, but that didn't deter me. I had to refocus my efforts on his widow, who had turned the hotel into apartments. Once I had uncovered that information, things got really interesting. I learned that the son of the person who cracked the safe 25 years ago lived here too. But how did you make the connection? How did you know that the person who cracked the safe was my dad? Do you really want to know? Well, here goes. The reason I knew that was, he was in the same business as I am. I had my own very thorough means of finding out things like that. And that's what you use to determine Niles' involvement. Precisely. It also proved useful when it helped me to learn about the jobs you did behind the scenes. My methods were infallible. Chris Hyde's son lived in this very building, oblivious to the events in the past. It was priceless, but made me think. I had to find a way to make you start looking into things. And that's when you decide to send the order sheet. Right again. But it seems I underestimated you. Before you unearthed the truth behind Mrs. Patrice and the Scarlet Star, you discovered the truth behind me. Didn't you think it was bound to happen? What do you do now? It may sound a little boring, but nothing. You found me out so easily, after all. If I attempt to delve any further, I fully expect Nile to come knocking on my door. Yes, they've clearly left their mark on this building. If I even so much as try to uncover the facts behind their operation, I'm a dead man. Please don't misunderstand, Mr. Hyde. I'd like nothing more than to make them pay. But I realize the consequences, and I think it's time for me to uh, release my grip. And you can live with that, can you? Certainly. As long as I'm alive, there's always a chance I can know the truth someday. That's the promise I made to my father. But for the time being, I value my life above all else. I see. The real question is, what are you going to do now? As long as that order remains valid, I'll do what I always do and track the item down. An answer that does you credit. It's my job after all. And the reward that waits for me at the end is more than enough to keep me going. As it should be. In any case, take this. Strange time to be giving me gifts, wouldn't you say? I take the torn postcard. One more thing I forgot to mention. When my father thrust his into wait, thrust this into my hands, he told that this was a vital clue to discovering the Scarlet Star. And that, Mr. Hyde, is all I can tell you. Will leaves the room. Well, this is his room, so it's weird that he would just leave, but okay. Um, it's been over 25 minutes, so I'm going to end this video here. So, stay tuned for the next episode, and thanks for watching! Bye-bye!